That's a rifle cleaning kit right here. It's working. What the heck? Okay. Ooh. 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 I see something. Specimen collection. Specimen bag? Mm, that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> no way. No stinking way. That was in here. What? Okay, what's this for? Let's see if I could do it. I know you're putting it this way, but let's see. This is a good find. Oh, this is the S3. We found the box earlier. Ooh, what's this? Come on, some money. Okay. Hang on now. Things just got serious. What we got here? The fishing gear. Hang on. What we got here? Institute of American Indian Arts right here. Gold tester? What? Oh, my goodness. That is a nice watch. That's an old STP keychain. That's actually really cool. I think these are actually real leather bags though, so... Alright, Locker Nuts, what is up? Look at this beautiful day. It is so warm. I think it's mid-80s today. So different than just a few weeks ago when it was cold and raining. Literally, just a few weeks ago. Right here in Northern California, we're experiencing a heat wave and loving it. Loving it. What I'm also loving is I bought a locker today at the auction. You want to check it out? Let's go take a peek. It's this right here, right here, right here. Look at all the spider webs on the door. This thing's been sitting for a little bit, I think. Okay guys, I paid 60 bucks for it, let's see. Oh, this looks good. For 60 bucks, this looks extremely good. First of all, it's grill season. We've got, I've got a barbecue at home, but I know we're gonna be able to sell this. It's a little dirty, but it looks all right. It's a nice little size, you can fit that on a condo. But this, this is what we paid for right here. It's kind of funny, last time I found a really high end mountain bike was uh, at the same facility in a unit that looked just like this actually. So, I'm not familiar with this, brand hyper hyper havoc havocs and it's an aluminum bike it looks pretty legit but it doesn't have disc brakes all right see this brakes right here no disc brakes that's one indication of a higher end bike the last one we found really did that was a very high end bike and it had disc brakes there's other ways to tell i'm sure oh there's an empty box okay samsung galaxy phone right there okay yeah, tool toolbox right here. And uh, gas can, not too impressed with that. A little fishing poles, I like to see that. And just a few boxes. There's not really too terribly much in here. There's a bike helmet. That looks like a Harley Davidson box right there. Okay, so not too not too much here. 60 bucks, not a lot of money either. The bike I think is worth, I mean easily 100 bucks, right? I think it's 100 bucks. As long as the uh, it goes, you can pedal it and it moves. <laughs> it's not seized up and the tires aren't flat, I'm saying. Uh, that should be 100 bucks, easy, maybe more. But um, this is a nice little profit. But what are we gonna find in here, guys? Let's get the dig in and find out. All right, you see I brought my van with me today and look what else I brought. Pretty smart, huh? Brought a bunch of empty boxes, a couple garbage cans, and maybe for the most important part, for an old guy like me, a table. All right, and boom, we're set up. All right, we're ready to start. We're going fast on this one, guys. No sense in messing around. Let's get right to it. Let's see what we got here. We got a bag of what looks like speakers. Dang, it's tied like super tight. Okay, there we go. Okay, Boston, I think that's Boston Acoustics, and BA745, but unfortunately we got damage to the grill right there, and it's all discolored. I don't think there's a way to fix the discoloration. I don't think it's really worth it, but Boston is a good brand. Here's a couple more little ones. These actually look like computer speakers probably. This is the woofer maybe? No computer speakers. A couple more computer speakers here. Gigaware. All right, nothing too impressive there. Okay, I'm seeing right here, look at this. This has been cut a couple times. So, um, a good amount of spider webs and stuff in here. It's been sitting a while. But a couple, cut a couple times, that means uh, it was a uh, pattern of not paying your bills with the previous owner here. It happens. All right, got some towels here. And yeah, that one's definitely been used a lot. <laughs> It'll clean up, I think. All right, as long as they're free of rust, considerable rust. That, yeah, I'm just power wash that down and maybe fire it up and try to clear off the at least the surface stuff. I'm not gonna do a deep clean on it. We'll just sell it for a decent amount. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna want that. That's a nice little grill, actually. What do you guys think? 50 bucks, 75 bucks? I don't really know. I know this is a decent brand, but I don't really know how much this stuff goes for. Battery's dead, that's no problem. That looks like a big old bag of garbage right here. 
It does. That might might be his garbage bag, but you know what? We're gonna go through it anyways. Wait, Hmm. Are we gonna go through it all, guys? Are we gonna do this? Hmm. Let's see if it's in French fries left. Nope. All right. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna pick through everything. I can see enough. This is all garbage. So we'll go ahead and let that go. But this. Look at this. That's a rifle cleaning kit right here. That's a good sign, right? Because what else we're we gonna have in here? I don't know. Yeah. Rifle cleaning. Okay. What's this? Staples? Oh, it's just some office supplies. This kind of threw me right here, but that's staples and some file labels and some glitter. Okay. Uh, here's a reel. Okay. For fly fishing, I think. A Martin 61. I wonder if that's got any value. We'll put that aside. That's a little more interesting. So we're going to have a big thing down here to sort some of the better stuff. The rest of the stuff like this right here, that's just going to get bounced out to either the flea market or a garage sale. Okay, that's an empty. Yeah, there's something in this box. We're not off to like a fantastic start here, but we're off an okay start. At least we paid little for it. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. How's the book shaking around? I was hoping for a phone. Galaxy S3. I don't know if that's a good one, but it's probably not terrible. But Okay. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bag's a little old. Oh my goodness, I can't even grab a strap. Ah, I wonder if it's been in here for that long or if it's just an old bag that he put stuff in. It's a decent little thermos. Oh, these things are just, just disintegrating. Okay, what do we got here? Sleeping bag, volleyball. I think it's a volleyball or it's a soccer ball. I don't know. You got this little basket here. It looks almost like a bingo or a bingo hall. And then we got a tarp in there. All right. I'm going to leave that stuff in there. Get that loaded. It's just a few bucks, really. Let's see if this is full. Uh, nah. I mean, it's got maybe a little bit of propane in here still. Maybe not. I don't hear it splashing around. It might be just empty. Still probably 10 bucks on that at the market. It's cheap to refill them. Well, here's another one just like the other. And what is that for? Almost looks like a cage, like to catch something. Almost. Maybe for uh, lobsters or crabs? Could that be possible? Maybe. I only say that because I see the rope. What is that, guys? Do you know what this is for? Let me know in the chat. I'm curious. I know people at the flea market will know and they'll buy it knowing, but I don't know. All right, let's see what's in here. I think they got it on a little dolly down here, so. Is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No. Some rice. <laughs> it's full of rice. Huh, is that, okay, you know what, that's, I don't think that's a, I thought it was a toolbox, I don't think it is, I think it's meant for food, it's meant for transporting food, I think. Nope, oh, it says right here, rice, so, at least it's marked correctly. Alright guys, well I just typed in Hyper Havoc Aluminum, and the, yeah, look at that, there, that looks to be the same bike, uh, at Walmart for 150 bucks, so definitely I'm not getting a $100 bill on this, well I can't say definitely, but, Almost definitely not getting a $100 bill on this. It sure looks like a great bike for $150, but uh, proof's in the pudding, though. I'm sure it's not that good of a bike. All right, I'm not getting reception here, but uh, I think this is going to be similar enough. I, th I think we get $75 bucks for it, though, but it's at least $50, bucks, right? At least $50. Or let's just call it $60. <laughs> All right, we'll break even on the bike. Nice camping stove there. All right, now, maybe, perhaps, for the fun part, <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay, I was going to say, we're all getting the boxes, but, oh, books and files, paperwork. That's not too fun. Yeah, I mean. All right, guys, I'll go through this, see if there's anything that needs to go back to the owner, you know, personal stuff, uh, social security number, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, but we will not do that on camera. That is super boring. Native American Indian Heritage Month. Okay. All right. Yep, there's nothing good in there. <laughs> so, uh, books in this one. Okay. 
Okay, you know what I've been doing with books lately is I've been donating them. There's a drop box down the road, not too far, and that's where these will go. Maybe not that one, it's got no cover. Hmm. Alright, this is, uh, yeah, this is not a good one either. Not a good box. <laughs> oh, okay, there's another big book, but yeah, this box looks a little more interesting. A little bit. Oh, what's this? What's this camera? Okay. Trip AF60. It's an old 35 millimeter. Cool. That's decent. A few bucks. What is this? Whatever it was, it was shipped from China, directly from China. Okay, I'm interested in what this is. It's got my curiosity peaked here, guys. What is this? It's brand new. Okay, there are little business card holders. Huh, a bunch of brand new ones. That's kind of interesting. All right, I just counted up. It looks like there are about 40 of those, 40 of them. So is that worth anything? I don't really know. I don't think so. I'll put it aside though. Anytime I can find some brand new stuff, uh, raises my interest a little bit, a wee bit. That box is heavy. I think it's books on the bottom. We're gonna find out, but uh, paperwork, paperwork, empty packaging. Man, guys, I thought this was gonna be an interesting locker. So far, not so much. Good thing we didn't pay much for it. Oh, what's this? It says guess on it. Uh, I think that's for the bike little reflector lamp or something okay but what is this and a nice cross i actually i mean it's not that nice because i see it's missing a few of the little crystals or whatever they are embellishments missing them but it's got this chain on it it looks a little too red to be gold in my opinion it says italy hmm it does say italy on it but i don't think that's gold but that obviously will put that aside anyways it looks like it's also broken but it's gold, I don't care about that. Color doesn't look right for gold though. We'll test it. Ooh, there's a Harley Davidson book. Nice. Okay. And uh, that's interesting because right here we've seen this Harley Davidson box. Now that it's the stuff's moved out, it says helmet on it. So uh, hopefully that's not just a box of paperwork. We'll find out in a sec though. Okay, here's a shoe box. All right. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Jordan. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. Saw paperwork. I was like, ugh. Saw this. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a watch. Pocket watch. Let's see. Yeah, little collectible pocket watch thing here. It's working. What the heck? Uh, well, it was working for a second there. Did I bump it or something? I don't know. It looked like it was working for a second there, but it's made in China. It says this case was made in China. Not, not especially uh, nice quality, I don't think. It's just... It's whatever. Still kind of cool. Hey, it's better than paperwork, but it's not it's not super great. Dude, no shoes, guys. Just receipts and paperwork. Okay. Big old dictionary, an old one. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 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 I see something. This right here, that's a challenge coin. Standing for those who stood for us. Patriot Guard Riders. Nice. It's a challenge coin, guys. These are collectible. And uh, that's something I'll put aside, too. I'm happy about that. The watch box, but it's receipts. There's a key. Maybe to something I'll find in there. Let's see. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, okay. Some Mary Jane seeds. Those are some seeds in there. And there's some seeds in there. And these are a bunch of empty bottles. Hmm. More seeds in there. Legendary road songs from Harley Davidson. That's kind of funny. And uh, some more paperwork and books in here, guys. Magazines. I'll go through that. Don't have any high hopes on that. Venture. Set of pens here. Oh, it's uh, mechanical pencils, actually. It's cool. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Got uh, another of these little dollies, but the wheels are all missing. Okie dokie. Dang it. And this one's... Mm. Starting to get the feeling that this guy went through his stuff and left the garbage behind. Getting that feeling. I'm losing that loving feeling, guys. <laughs> I've lost that loving feeling because it's junk. All 
junk specimen collection. Hmm? Specimen bag? Hmm, that doesn't sound very good. I wonder what kind of specimen it is. No kind that I want any part of. Um, the bag's okay. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way. No stinking way. That was in here. What? It looks like it's all a bunch of foreign coins. <laughs> That's hilarious, guys. Oh my, my. All right, back to the specimen box to make sure there's no coins in here. Um, oh, blood specimen. Ew. All right. Dang it. That was, that was funny. I just think that was funny. Okay. Blackburn air tower. Oh, that's funny. Because the little pump on here is a Blackburn also right there. Now, that'll sell at the market for sure. For sure. All right. What do we got in here? Kind of interesting. There's some corn kernels. What, what, this is weird. <laughs> this is kind of weird. There's seeds and nuts mixed in with some other stuff. Okay, what's this for? Is that for a motorcycle maybe? Motorcycle parts, perhaps. The key for something. That's a Harley Davidson, I think. Hmm. That says Harley Davidson on that key right there. I'm gonna put these pieces aside with it. What is that? That was gross, whatever it, it is or was. I bring garbage cans. Dump the grodiness. We'll flip phone. Smartphone. Old phone. Half a phone. Mm -hmm. Not great, not great. Where did that come from? I don't I forget where I even pulled that from. Okay. Oh, I see books back there. I see paperwork right here. Yikes. Mm -hmm. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this right here, $55. Chakra Plus Sonic Matte Black Gray. That looks like a decent helmet. A Cali? Hmm, huh, I don't know if it's new. Let's see what this is. I gotta get something better. Come on, guys, let's get me charged up. Let's find something good together. Ah, paperwork. Dang it. All right, check this out, guys. This is so cheesy. The University of New Mexico. This is a, supposed to be a diploma. He took the diploma out. Um, unless it's framed on his wall somewhere. I think he took it out. Oh, this is a Harley Davidson manual here, I think. That's... I don't know. Touring model. Maybe that's worth a few bucks. Might be an eBay item. But, uh, yeah. I, ooh, this is nice. Porsche. New 911 Turbo. Here's the Dreamin', right? Um... Yeah, I'll go through this box. I will go through it all. Uh, I'm not expecting to find anything super great in here. But, um, yeah, I think he went through his stuff. I just have that feeling at this point. I do. Oh, man. That was all paperwork. The only good thing. I mean, it's not even that good. But this uh, boomerang from the United States Post Office. United States Post Office 2005. I don't think that's worth anything. It looks like they had it double taped to the wall probably too. But kind of a cool piece. Should I try it right now, guys? Should I try this? See if I could do it. I know you fling it this way, but let's see. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm worried he's going to go on the roof and then the... I know they got cameras down there. They'll think I'm a jerk, so... I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, but yeah, I was trying to figure out where I was pulling stuff from. I forgot. I have a box right here. We're not even done with that and I'm getting new boxes. Slow down, Jack. Finish what you started. Uh, a bunch of lottery tickets. That's what this was. This was a gamble, even for 60. Not a good one. Actually, it was a good gamble. It's just I'm saying it turned out wrong, but the odds were good. Oh, what we got here? Historic Los Luceros or something? Alaska and Harley Davidson right there. Okay. Yeah, that's a Harley Davidson hat. That's nice. Decent. I will put that aside and I will let these go to the flea market. <laughs> What's this? Oh, crayons. Yeah, those are doing great in the sun right here. Yep. <laughs> Super glue. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? That looks like it almost says chestnut on it. It's like it was made for me. Reserved for Mr. Chestnut's one iPad. This is a good find. Yeah, a little bit of scratches on the screen, but it doesn't look like it's been dropped. That's pretty nice. Model A1432 right here, so that's a decent, that's a decent. Put in my keeper box. Okay. Well, got some luggage or briefcases back there. And a bunch more books in here. 
there's a speaker. Palermo, nope. What's this? Oh, what's this? Galaxy S7, I think that's a newer one. It's heavy. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, this is the S3, we found the box earlier. Okay. Wow, look at all this. It's got all this plugs, and that's cool. It's got the earphones, that's, uh, that's decent. All right, but um, the box for the S3 is long gone. It's it's somewhere at the bottom of the can or something. So not going to dig that out. Not going to dig that out. But this is good. We'll sell that. Okay. And this one looks like files. Mm -hmm. That's what it be. I think this guy was a chef and maybe even owned a catering business. So you see a lot of these menus in here. And... Uh, Grand opening, historic Lace Luceros. Huh, 505 area code, I don't know what that is, but not around here. So, yeah, whatever. Not not a good box, guys. <laughs> not, not. Oh, we found his journal. Looks like he's chronicling his uh, business, his business endeavors. What's this? Another journal. Man, that bike made it look good in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, not much else to make it look good in there. This is garbage here, guys. This is gonna go straight to dump most of this stuff. Yeah. Yep. Bounce out to the flea market. See if we can find any gift cards. That would be nice. Oh, what's this? Come on, some money. Oh, there's some money. Okay. Okay. All right, it's just pennies. Won't get too excited. Sodexo, I think that was his company or something. Saw some other Sodexo stuff. Little socket. Free to stamp. It's 34 cents right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, Day Runner. I haven't seen that in a long time. I used to live off of those. Oh, whoa. Okay. Hang on now. Things just got serious. What do we got here? Okay, what's this? This is Bugs Bunny right there. Armatron, Bugs Bunny. Definitely seen a lot of wear on the face here. But it's like, uh, it's kind of neat. And then this one, a Signet. Signet. A couple watches, okay. It's cool. It's getting a little better. See it? See what I'm, See that? Okay, that's receipts. Boo. But this. Huh? Yeah. Paychecks or something there. Guess he didn't need the money. He didn't cash them. He didn't even open them. Tape dispenser. I see some money. Not that. Whoa. What's that? I don't know what that is. Bring it to the market. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a firecracker just sitting there. Flashing fountain. How funny. Yeah, there's a lot of money in here. Wait. Oh, this is what that is. Okay, this... I can feel it inside here. It's heavy. There's another one brand new. Oh, greasy. Oh, okay. Let's see. Proven drivetrain quality. What if that's worth something right here? I should probably look that up. Actually, I'm going to look that up real quick to make sure I'm not bringing the market if it's worth a few bucks. Okay. There's one right there brand new for four bucks. So, yeah. That's going to the market. Don't need to uh, spend too much time on that. But this right here, let's clean the rest of this out because look at all this. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Sacagawea, there's a dollar. Sacagawea, there's a dollar. Ooh, this right here. Mercury head dime. I can't read it, but I think it's 1940 something. I think I can make out that much. All right, I'm gonna, let me get all this change out of here. Let's look in there. All right, guys, let me get all this change out and show you what we got. Okay, that's what we got. There's all the change out of that box. Got it all sorted out. Nice. What's in here? More paperwork, business cards, blah, 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 blah. Okay, a little gas can. It's worth a couple bucks. At the market, I'm saying. <laughs> this looks a lot like the others. Garbage. Yeah. Little Samsung phone there, but other than that, this is another garbage box here. Dang it. Okay, this one's kind of heavy, so yeah, I see why. There's a bunch of magazines there. It's got some interesting photo albums here. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Culture Cannabis Lifestyle Magazine. What's this? This vision right here, the same one, winter 2014. I saw there was another box with a ton of them in there. And Biofreeze, that's good stuff right here. That is good. Expensive too, it's for like, uh, it's like icy hot, right? Blackburn, another biking accessory here. What was it? Okay, a bunch of bike parts. Yeah, for changing flats and such. Oh, this is Night Eyes. I think that's for the bike, because it straps on right here. Huh. Looks like you plug in your phone right here. It's interesting. It's a mouse. <laughs> a little ketchup that is looking brown. I think that's past its prime. Carmel Mission. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> that's funny. All right, that looks like that's about it for this box here. Just a bunch of paperwork. Whoa, look at that. Nuts.com, how'd they know? How'd they know that I was gonna get this locker? Wow. Actually, it's lockernuts.com, guys. If you haven't been to our website, check it out. We've got links to all of our upcoming events, like live auctions and stuff, links to our eBay store, all that kind of stuff. Not much how this locker is going on the eBay store, but when we find good stuff, when we find good stuff, that's where we put a lot of it, and also we sell it in our live auctions, so make sure you guys are following, that. following us there. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we saw the bike that made me want it, and we also saw the fishing gear. I'm not sure that made me want it, but it definitely got me a little more interested. I don't know much about the fishing stuff, so when I find it, it's anyone's guess, but uh, what do we got here? Tiger spin casting. It's a Shakespeare. It's Shakespeare pull. Shakespeare reel right here. Okay, and man, it's got a bunch of hooks on it. Multiple hooks down there. Got to put that somewhere it doesn't snag on my... Love the seats. <laughs> this one looks nicer right here. So what do we got here? Master Spectra Graphite Composite, it says. That definitely looks like a beefier one. All right, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'll just bring it to the market or the garage sale, whatever. We'll sell it. We will sell it, and it will sell. Okay, what do we got here? Mary, I think that's what that is, and this I believe is a piece for the barbecue. I think it gives us, yeah, this is the yeah, it goes right here. Screws are put back in there, that's kind of nice. They might not have had room for it or something, but yeah, it goes in, it's gonna go right there. That's nice. Did I say that's nice? It is nice. <laughs> Man, I see a lot of paperwork. Right now I'm wishing I took my truck here because I could just take a lot of this right back to the dump and dump it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come tomorrow with my pickup, take a load to the dump. I was hoping for more good stuff. Paperwork. More paperwork. It's not a real passport. That's like a some kind of promo thing. It's, a, it's just for funsies. Okay. The rest of paper. Oh, 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 what's this? Hang on. Hang on. What do we got here? If I found anything good, I would be like going a lot slower, but the, the more I find garbage, the faster I'm going to go. I like, look at that, for example. Business cards and floppy disks. <laughs> and there's a wallet <laughs> with just business cards and receipts. Dang it. That's not a good sign. Business cards. How many business cards does one person need? How could you even find... You're like, oh, that guy I met at that convention. Let me find his business card. How? How would you find a business card? Dude, there's not... There's, there's no reason to even keep them. There's no reason to even take them. Okay, what do we got here? This... Oh, okay. Wait a second, guys. Ah, uh, we just got our money back. We just got our money back. First off, we have a nice... This is a nice jacket. It's a little dusty. It's nothing. This is a nice jacket, Harley Davidson, size extra large, fantastic for sales. Fantastic, Harley Davidson. Okay, a little faded right here on the color, and I also see a little corrosion on the zipper right here. I think that can be cleaned up, but that means it was stored moist. Um, but look at that, that's beautiful inside, quilted, and yeah, gives you, seems like it's pretty tough exterior. That's our, this is, between that and this, there's our money back. I'm hoping this is the Harley helmet that we found the box from. Mm, nope. Okay. It's just a helmet. Just a helmet. HCI. Where is it? 
Yeah, just a helmet. It's cool. It'll probably sell. There's some Harley Davidson gloves. Okay. And there's something in here. There's something in here. Oh, that says Harley Davidson right there. And this is a Harley Davidson. Yes. Okay, the foam's a little coming apart right here. Or a lot coming apart. The foam is actually deteriorating. But um, these are Harley Davidson racetrack right there. Racetrack, it says. It's probably the style. That's cool. Very cool. So I bet you though, still those pieces right there is our money back, 60 bucks. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, this box was a little better. Can we keep up the fun? <laughs> Great job on uh, sealing your boxes up here, buddy. Appreciate that. Okay, a few more books. Which again, we will recycle. Uh, donate, I mean, not recycle. Donate. Delicious Disney. The Disney Chefs. Huh, that's kind of neat. What's this? Oh, lift. Oh. This, um... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was one of those things that light up in the back. Oh, here's the guy's uh, license. Yep, there it is. Okay. Oh, what was this? Pit cap right there. Something official NASCAR sticker. Huh. Let's get all these business cards again. Tons of business cards. Wish we could find some gift cards. That'd be nice. Nope. So I thought, yeah, I thought that was one of those things that go in the car when you're a Lyft driver and they light up, you charge them up. Those sell for a little bit of money. Leather, uh, shoe cleaner. Okay. Got a couple of posters here. Let's see what we got. Okay, a little art print. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Los Lonely Boys. Wait, we got some concert posters here. Okay, this is better. And they're rolled really hard, but check this out. That's decent. It's all right. Most Lonely Boys. It's great graphic, but if it said the film more and had a date, it'd be better. Institute of American Indian Arts right here. Uh, there's some kind of a print. Uh, all right. George Schaefer, the artist. Another George Schaefer. Okay. Okay. And then we got another one right here. Let's see what this one is. Okay, <laughs> it's signed. Maybe that means it's collectible. Gastronomy and wine show. I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna put Los Lonely Boys back in this and take it home because that might be something we can list on the old eBay. All right, guys, this is uh, paper. That's paper. This says receipts. Oh, wow. That's so weird. You really do learn about the weird things people do going through lockers there's no hiding it i mean they were hiding it until they lost the locker now there's no hide this is a bag of receipts guys no joke look at this that's crazy town crazy town well doggone it i thought to stick that in there and then i saw that where have you been all my life little one come to me it's a quarter <laughs> now i'm gonna have to go through this bag dang it all right and i'm up to the job guys don't don't get me wrong there's another quarter in there. I will leave no coin behind. There's a penny. I picked it up. What's this? What is this? This is some headphones. Huh. Charges up. That's kind of cool. Put that aside. It's a vape, vape pen. Harborside Health Center. All right. Well, whatever. That was it. <laughs> a couple more coins in there, but not a lot. That's interesting. Shoved in there with the papers, with a book. This might have been where the glasses came from. Racetrack. It says yellow though. Ah, dang it. Stinking more receipts. This is the little booklet. I do think that's where the glasses maybe originated, so we'll keep that. Keep it with the glasses, anyways. All right. Oh. Bomber. Got me excited for a second. Okay, what do we got here? Oh. Man, these are terrible. Terrible. Pup crew, and there's a little sweater for your puppy. Yeah, this is interesting. This is a jewelry tray right here. Same type of tray we use at home when we're displaying. Whoa, that's an odd tool right there. Same, same that we use at home when we're displaying jewelry in our live auctions. We sell a lot of jewelry, guys. We sell a lot of jewelry. I'm actually gonna put that aside because it just needs to be cleaned up. 
gold tester what Ooh, okay what i didn't know they made a gold tester we always test with acid and i have a feeling that's what that is there's a file so if you want to check something if it's plated you file off the surface you know get get below the surface there's a gold testing kit right here these are the acids that you use looks like something's been leaking out here jeez this one's brand new though a seal hmm a little stone most of them are sealed brand new i don't know what's leaking in here that's too bad but I might hold on to that but this is very cool so gold tester gt3000 looks like it's in good shape oh this is look at this this is corroded right here and you know why it's because he had it in the same bag near this and that acid's going to start corroding certain things that's interesting if this works that might be worth a few bucks but i wouldn't sell it because it's something that we would we would use and the acid i'll probably take that home too Second thought, maybe not. Okay, it's getting interesting already. Holy Bible. Let's check for them $100 bills. I find a Bible in almost every locker, and I say that almost every time I find them. And I have never found one. <laughs> never found one. Fribomyalgia. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, that I like. We're off to a good start. It's the first time we've actually found stuff that might be gift cards. A credit card. Getting closer. There's a foreign coin. There's some good coins. Okay. A couple more coins here. Um, it's got a little silicone thing right there. What's that for? I almost feel like it might be for um, carpal tunnel. You want to put pressure right here? Uh, that might be what that is. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's another 61 cents. And a nickel to follow. That was Jim. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, heck yeah. Okay, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> this time it wasn't receipts. My goodness, that is a nice watch. Fossil. That is brand new. I don't think that's even been worn. I see no scuffs on it. If anything, I see one little, little, little something right there. Maybe, maybe it'll even wipe off. I, uh, yeah. No, actually, I see scuffs right here. So it has been worn, but wow, the face is beautiful. This is a nice watch right here. A fossil blue AM38, no, AM3688. It might be the model number. That's nice, guys. That's a good find right there. That might be our money back right there. Actually, it might be sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I love that. Okay. That was all in the shoe box. I do like finding the shoe boxes. Oh, whoa, guys. It's getting a little more interesting down here. Let's not give up hope on this locker. Can you hear that? <laughs> okay. Well, mm, nah. Sure sounded like change. Yeah, this is cool though. That's an old STP keychain. That's actually really cool. And I'll, I'll bring the keys home. I have a key collection I've talked about before. Yeah, the rest of it's just nuts and bolts and whatevers. What's this? I think this might be for a razor. Yeah, it's, I think it's a sharpening blade for a razor. Pretty sure. Like a shaving razor. Hmm. All right. <laughs> That's neat. It's a plate, but it's an award a trophy. Good lord, this guy kept a lot of receipts. I'm not sure what that is. Let's look at that. I think it's probably receipts, but I'll take a look. Mm, there's some electronics. I'm just pulling the stuff out that we're gonna go through a second. In in a second, a little closer. Anthony Robbins or Tony Robbins, whatever. That box kind of sucks. <laughs> Okay, books in the book bin. Okay, yeah. What are these? Those are nothing. And what is this? Some razor blades. Got a few more phones here, a little bit more electronics and cables. <laughs> okay, guys. Of course, my camera uh, ran out of batteries right as I'm, you know, about to get into the first thing. I started and I'm like, nope, I gotta record it. Cause check it out, Walmart $100 debit card right here. Who knows if it's still good? Oh, it says valid through May of 2020. 
Then there's a Macy's Easy Exchange. I think it's a gift card when you exchange stuff. And of course, look at this, this look at this. Change, straight up money. This first gift card though, I, I don't know if it's expired. I, I don't think they can legally expire, so I don't know how that works, but. Oh, there's a quarter. Finding a fair amount of change in this locker. Oh, this garbage can's getting full of Yoza. Oh, yes. I see money, and I see this. Harley Davidson wallet. Very nice. It's got a lot of credit cards in here. Oh, actually, I thought this was uh, torn up. It's just a loose thread. This uh, Actually, this wallet is in, uh, right there, made in the USA. That's why it's held up so good. Part of the reason. Actually, there's a tear right there, so it spoke a little too soon. But it's still, it's a decent wallet. Okay. I'm going to put it aside only because it's Harley Davidson. So, Harley Davidson stuff does sell pretty well. Okay, I found a couple things. Here's a JC Penny gift card, but it is it's the pin number scratched off, so it probably is used. But he kept it in the wallet, though, so maybe not. Subway, another gift card. And again, it looks like the pin number was scratched off. It looks like an old card. And then a couple more BART tickets here. Dollar fifty-five on that. I don't see the amount on this. I don't know. They 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 switched to electronic, I guess, on the BART. I haven't been on a BART train in years. That's our mass transit, guys. If you didn't know, it's like a you know like a. Ooh. Nice pen. It's a stylus on one. It looks like a light on the other. Ballpoint there. Uh, it's just a promotional piece. So. But yeah, it's our it's our mass rail train. What's going on here? Some seeds in there. We some Foster Grants right here. Okay. Oh, okay. This got way better. Cause look at all that money for one, and then look at this old knife right here. Oh yes, this made New York a Camille. Camille. How funny, that's my daughter's name. That one's got a broken tip right there. Maybe it says Camillus or Camillus. I don't know, but that's a nice old knife right there. I like finding the old pocket knives. Look at this, Road Pro. Man, okay. Um, found a fair amount of keys in this locker. I kept a few of them, but not all of them. Now I'm kind of regretting that. I think this is a decent little lock right here. I don't think any of these are the key. Hmm. Bummer. All right. Well, anyways, I'll put it aside just in case I find the key. Well, I'll leave it in here actually, because uh, we'll count through this change later. Yeah. See a decent amount of quarters in there. Car wash token. Yeah. Okay. Now this, I have a feeling, is receipts. This guy's such a massive receipt collector. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe so. Maybe so. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, and then the Harley Davidson right there. Was the best stuff hiding in the back? It happens sometimes. There's Harley Davidson. Another dang receipt box though. Yikes. Okay, we'll put that aside also. Because we might find the glasses still. We found one pair, we might find a second pair is what I'm saying. Paperwork. Blueprints or something? I don't know. Alright, here's Guess. Guess. Guess what's in here. Okay. Okay, just a nice sunglass box right there. <laughs> An old Garmin. Look how small it is. Little guy, little guy. Couple cordless headsets. Another book. Okay. Let's see what's in there. And... That's about it here. Dang it. Yep. Nothing good. Hmm. Life Vantage 30 cap with dietary supplement. Lemu 6 youthful supplement. These are look old though. So I don't know, even if they had some value, it's, it's past its prime, so. Alright. Garbage. Alright guys, we're down to these briefcases or luggage or whatever i'm thinking files but maybe something better why am i thinking files i don't know i just got a feeling just a hunch because 90 percent of what we found is files yep more files record another little journal more files okay i think these are actually real leather bags though so the bags themselves might have a little value even though they're all dusty they seem to be in decent shape, but unfortunately, they just hold more files so far. 
Yep. Okay, last one. Last one. Huh. Oh, that got me so excited. Oh, man. That could have been rolls of coins or something. So much better than receipts. Could have been so beautiful. Could have not sucked. All right. Why can't we just get like a big old fat wad of cash like from his re the daily deposits that they forgot to make, you know? That'd be awesome. Receipts. Running out of chances here, guys. Yeah. And with that, the adventure comes to a close. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for our adventure. Adventure. This one had less adventure than normal. Ah, so much garbage. Look at all this garbage. All this garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. Uh, these need to be emptied into a garbage. Maybe the briefcases will sell. I don't know. We're talking about like two bucks each on those in the condition. So anyways, guys, uh, but still, hey, we took a chance. You know, sometimes we knock it out of the park. Sometimes we strike out. And this one, I'd say this will strike out. We're still making money. We're still, we paid 60 bucks. All right. We're in the profit, I think, with the bike or the barbecue or the Harley Davidson clothes. So I'd say we're going to make a few hundred bucks on this one, but it's not a whopper, but that's okay. Uh, you know, would I buy this one again? If I knew, if I knew what was in here, no, but, uh, would I buy it again? Knowing what I knew from the doorway, seeing the bike and boxes. Yeah, I would. I take the chance again because it was worth it. 60 bucks. Uh, would I have paid 600 for this? No. Uh, would I have paid 300 for this? Probably, but I would have been very unhappy. But with 60 bucks, we can make a little money. But there's the time and there's some dump fees, right? So, but um, anyways, uh, don't worry, guys, because on this day, I didn't just buy this locker. I bought two other ones, and we're going to get to those ones next. One of them, I thought this was going to be probably number two of the three. So, which means one's probably worse and one's probably better. But you never know, right? The one that I think is going to be better could be worse. And the one that I thought was going to be the worst could be the best. You just never know in this business, is w which is why it's so exciting and uh, why we love it so much. We get a rush, right? We get a rush going through stuff. This one uh, didn't have the, uh, you know, the oohs and ahs like normal, but we still found some interesting stuff. I don't know. Got one little bit I'm going to bring home, feed into our live auctions. I was talking about that earlier. Make sure you come into our live auctions. All right. We do them on YouTube and we do them on whatnot. Just again, check our website, lockernuts.com, and you'll know when our upcoming events are and uh, come join us hang out have fun and maybe get some great deals on stuff if you see something that you like okay thanks so much for watching this video the next one will be out soon uh because i'll be in tomorrow digging and uh anyways until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on log oh look at look at that it's opening on its own oh Okay, there it is. There it is in all of its glory. <laughs> That's sarcasm, guys, in case you didn't know.